All right, hello everyone. It is me, Elder Reyes, and I am your real estate technology coach. Um, happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a good Friday. Um, I go hope everyone's being safe and healthy. I know that a lot of these states are easing those restrictions. Um, so I hope that's good news for everyone going back to work. Um, I know um, for all you realtors and brokers out there, I hope you guys can can start showing property a little bit more normal, right? As opposed to a lot of these virtual showings and stuff like that. But um, yeah, having said all of that, happy Friday. I'm El Reyes. I am your real estate technology coach. A um, little bit about me. Um, I've been doing real estate technology coaching, consulting, marketing, digital marketing for over 15 years now. Over the past 15 years, I've actually worked for um, companies like Zillow, White Lopo, iHouse, Z57, YellowPages.com. Um, I, I, in my client base that I have now, I currently have clients that are using um, platforms such as uh, Commissions Inc. and Boomtown and Chime and Sierra Interactive and Brivity and pretty much everything and anything under under the sun, right? So if, if in regards to real estate technology, marketing tools, if it's out there, I'm well aware of it. I've probably ha I probably have a client who's using it. I've probably used it before. So, um, you know, um, definitely, definitely no more than most folks when it comes to this real estate technology space. So that's why you guys should, you know, pay attention to this video and, and just kind of stay tuned. So um, as far as what I wanted to do on today's video is just kind of continue along those lines um, of videos that I've been doing with answering questions that people have been sending in. Um, I'm getting tons of feedback. Thank you so much um, in regards to all the feedback I'm getting, all the engagement I'm getting here on my channel. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you do ever just want to get a hold of me for some questions, you can uh, send me an email, elderareyes at gmail.com. Or what you could also do is give me a phone call at 530-760-7827. Or you can go to my Facebook business page, facebook.com. Um, forward slash re tech coach um, and then just send me a dm there as well but today's video what i wanted to cover and i've actually i got the, after i did last night's video i got a, a, a you know quite a bit of engagement quite a bit of emails and text messages um, and stuff like that but i got this video I'm, I'm sorry i got this question four times and what i specifically got it i got it from four different realtors they ask about the domain names right so what are what is my stance on domain names um, a few of them worded it like, are they still important? One person asked me recommend, recommendations for domain names. So let me just answer both of those kind of variations of the question for you. So first and foremost, are domain names still important? And that's actually a very good question because if you do research online and kind of go to the, the you know internet marketing gurus and website developers on there, you got half of people, half of the people are saying domain names don't matter. Then you got the other half that are saying they, they still matter. Um, I'm one of those people on the other side that says they specifically, they, I'm sorry, they, they yes, that they do matter, right? So if I was a real estate agent in today's, you know, very, very competitive, you know, online marketing space, I would definitely get a domain name that either had one of two things, right? Either my name in it, right? Like Elder Reyes Group or the or the Elder Reyes Group or, um, you know, Reyes Realty Group or something like that. Or I would go the other route, excuse me, and get a domain name that had like my area, right? Where I was farming or marketing or trying to generate business from, right? So for example, if I was a real estate agent in Los Angeles, obviously the dream domain name would be something like Los Angeles CA Real Estate or Los Angeles CA Homes for Sale. Obviously those domain names are no longer available. A lot of those, you know, got bought up. And if they are available now, they're probably a lot of money, right? However, um, you would, a couple of variations that I always recommend to people. I was actually was working with the client on domain names the other day. So let me just use um, Los Angeles, right? So Los Angeles CA Home Finder or Los Angeles Property Finder or Los Angeles CA Properties, right? Um, you definitely want to stay in the dot coms when it comes to domain name. I know a lot of folks are doing the dot IOs and, and people think that might be a, a they're, they're going to be making a play here shortly. I, I see some of these tools that grade websites and it starts with the domain name. So I'm a big, so I'm sorry, I'm, 
I always say, I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people that says, go with the .com domain name, right? So let me, let me kind of share my screen here with you. Kind of, when I, if you're looking for a domain name, I mean, if this is, you know, a little bit basic for some of you guys, sorry, if it's, if it's not, then, you know, guys pay attention here. But, you know, obviously go to GoDaddy, right? You can go on here and kind of see what's going on. So, like, for example, I'm just going to do Los Angeles. I know they're super, right, Angela? Right, working my spelling right. Let's go property search.com. I right? see if that one's available. Boom, look, Los Angeles CA property search. Right, that's a good domain name. Why? Because it has the area that I'm marketing, it has what the website's going to be about. Um, Google does take that into account, and um, when it goes to your website, it does look at your domain name. Right, um, so this would be a really good domain name, in my opinion. Right, and other ones, other variations are like Los Angeles CA, you know properties i must be spelling something wrong or something let's see if that's available okay i don't know what's going on but okay los and okay so boom those are those are available um you know that that could definitely be something it's gonna do another one chicago properties.com i doubt that one. Okay, see, this is a good example. Chicago Properties is a really, really good domain name as well. Like some of those other ones I just seen, I'm about to go back and buy those. But um, as you can see here, chicagoproperties.com, you can still get it, but it's going to cost you, the, it's a minimum offer, which means that's like the starting point, right? So it's going to be pretty, pretty expensive. But these are some good domain names that I would go. Obviously, when it comes to like, let's just say I was a real estate agent in Chicago, right? It's Chicago, you know, realestate.com. That's not going to be there. Yeah, obviously it's taken, right? But they can still get it for you for 70 bucks. And if you see something like that when you guys are going for a domain name where they're trying to have a broker service fee plus the commission, don't even try it because you have no idea what you're going to be paying for. It's going to be super over the top expensive, right? So, um, you know, another one, that, some other ones that I always see, Chicago, let's see this one, Home Finder. Okay, that one's available for 1500 right? So obviously... Depending on the level where you guys are at in your marketing budget, like how much you guys are willing to spend, this is actually um, a good, it says Home Finder. I would do Home Finder. Let's see that one. Boom, Home Finder is taken. But once again, that little crappy thing that says they want you to pay 70 bucks. But to, to just to answer the question, yes, I do believe domain names um, are are very important. Um, if it was me, like I said, I would go with something like, you know, El Reyes Real Estate Group or the El Reyes Group or Reyes Realty Group or something like that. And then obviously um, today I'm actually working in Riverside. So let's just say I did like a Riverside Homes for Sale. Right. This would probably be, you know, obviously it's taken, but you know, what if you threw a CA in there? Okay, that's taken too. Let's go. And you'll always try little variations. What you guys are kind of looking to do is something that describes what your website's going to be about. And then obviously, you know, what's up, something someone can actually type in the search engines, right? Because all of that helps. Also, when you think about your domain name, think about how it's going to look on your marketing pieces, right? Like sometimes I know I got clients that live in these really, in these cities with these long old names, right? So you definitely don't want to, you know, st you know, spell out the whole name and just picture how it's going to look on your marketing, picture how it's going to look on your business card, picture, um, you know, um, how it's going to look on, you know, a sign writer or something like that, right? Um, so think about all of that stuff when you go with your domain name. But definitely, yes, domain names are still very, very important. Um, yes, I would go with the .com domain names. And like I said, either go with your name or go with your area, something homes for sale or property search. Let's just see. I always try to property finder. Let's try that one. Boom, that one's available. See, property finder, property search, properties homes you know near me stuff like that all that all that good stuff does work if you guys ever need help in finding a very good domain name please you guys can give me a call 530-760-7827 or you can um shoot me an email elder a reyes at gmail.com elder a reyes at gmail.com or you could actually um just go to my facebook business page which is facebook.com um, forward slash re tech coach so um yeah i hope i answered those two questions for you i didn't want to take up a lot of time today on this video but i got this one um i got this question four times in a matter of like an hour yesterday um, so i definitely wanted to make sure i i addressed it so yes they're important um always you and you know definitely do a dot yes they're important 
dua.com and then ultimately try to get something with either your name because that's ultimately your brand and then get something with your area in it like you know city state whatever property finder home finder homes for sale properties for sale something like that to that effect right um sometimes i'm also asked like elder is it a good idea to do both i always tell people if it was me i would always own my own brand as a domain name and then on top of that i would always own one for the uh for the different markets that I farm, right? Because what you can do in a sense, right, what's, what's kind of popular and what people are still doing um, are these hyper local pages, right? So I've, I've mentioned that a few times on a couple of these videos. Um, if you don't know what a hyper local page, basically what it is, is you go to someone's website, right? And they have it, the, the websites broken up into certain areas, right? So like, for example, let's just say I'm in Los Angeles, California, and then within Los Angeles, I work a, a, a city by the name of Whittier. There's a town named Whittier in Los Angeles. So my website may be titled LosAngelesPropertyFinder.com, but then when I click, when I go to my homepage, there's going to be a specific section that, that's all about Whittier. So I click on that page, going to GoDaddy, buying a domain name for 10 to 12 bucks. That's called, you know, Whittier Properties for Sale, Whittier Home Search, something to that effect. It does help you out from the search engines, right? Because what happens in a sense, what you're doing is you're taking your main website and you're kind of, in a sense, breaking it down into these little websites, right? And, and what's that old saying when it comes to, to search engine optimization, to, uh, to, to get it found on Google, to coming up on the first page, the, the riches are in the niches, right? So the more, the more you know, specific you can get portions of your website to be, and then kind of treating that as its own little website, the better chances you have of getting you know, um, on the first page of Google of being found on the, uh, on the search engines, right? So definitely buying, buying your brand, which is your name. Also buying, you know, domain names for your specific markets and having it point to those specific pages on your website that you've built or had your website guy built can definitely, can definitely help you guys out. Right. Um, and, and also kind of what, what I, um, you know, I'm because I'm kind of going into that. I want to get too far into the weeds here. Is if you do do that, right? If you are doing these hyper local pages with hyper local domain names for specific searches on your website, which I highly recommend, um, market it like that, right? So what I mean is, if your website is Los Angeles CA Homes for Sale, right? Whoever the guy who has that website, well done, you bought it. You're the you're the man. And then you have a section of your website that says. Whittier CA homes for sale and you buy that domain name that domain name do market it like that right so go when you go to social media when you go to Facebook when you go to Twitter when you go to LinkedIn do something like see our homes for sale in Whittier and have that domain name show there so when they click on it boom it takes them to that page on the site right that was one of the the real um, cool things that happened I want to say about I don't know maybe 10 years ago these companies started you know, doing these IDX landing pages to where if I go online and do a search for like Los Angeles CA homes for sale, four beds and three baths, I got a page for it on my site, right? But so like if you do a search online, that's the page that comes up. If you guys are going to do that, um, I'm I'm one of those guys. I, I know some people out there are saying, you know, too many domain names is not a good thing. I think if you go out there and you have your website, and you have a page for every single market or farm that you phone that 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 you that you were working that you're looking to generate business from you're just giving yourself more opportunities to be found right when it comes to your website when it comes to domain names when it comes to the content on your site when it comes to the social media your goal as a real estate agent or broker should be to have a place on your website where any type of search that someone does online right, in regards to a service that you provide, there's a place for it on your site. So if you want to sell homes in Los Angeles, you better have a page on your website that talks about that. If you want to sell homes in Whittier, you better have a page that, on your site that talks about that and so forth and so forth and so forth. Because the more pages, the more amazing content you can put on there, um, the better chances you have of actually, you know, Google thinking your site as a true point of value and you actually getting getting some ranking on the search engines, right? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it answered the domain name question. I know I kind of went into the weeds a little bit um, when it comes to, to kind of making that go into some SEO because um, it, 
you know, like, like I said, there's, there's, it's kind of taken place lately where you got two, two sides there, one saying it don't matter, one saying it do matter. I'm one of those guys that telling you, you know, definitely get your name, it's your brand, definitely get a domain name for your specific market, point it to those pages on your website and just watch that thing take off, man. Um, I have, I'll give you just a real, real world scenario. I have a guy who I'm working with right now and what we're specifically doing is he has seven specific markets that he's marketing to. So we have his main website. And then what we went ahead and did is we bought seven domain names for each one of those sections on the site. And that's what we're doing when it comes to like our postings on social media three to five times a day, right? So for example, let's just say this gentleman was in California, Los Angeles homes for sale, but now you got your section of the website that's Whittier. Now within Whittier, you can say Whittier homes for sale, four bedrooms, three baths. Whittier homes for sale with the pool. Whittier homes for sale near this school district. Whittier homes for sale in the zip code. And you can grab those little links on your site and drop them all over social media, right? To really help you coming up with coming up with content for those three to five posts that sometimes I see people are struggling with. Also what's pretty cool, right? Let's just say um, you did do like a, a specific section of your website talking about a specific area, a specific, you know, type of property right now or whatnot. You could do like a Whittier CA Homes for Sale, right? Now you got that page on your site. You got your domain name going there and then boom, you drop a video on there, right? Do a YouTube video and drop it on that page. Now in a sense, you're taking that Los Angeles CA Homes for Sale website and you're breaking it down into these little websites and that's when you start getting the traffic. That's when you start getting as all like all these big SEO guys, you're going to hear them say this over and over and over. The riches are in the niches, right? So if you really want to start generating traffic in that regards from the search engines, having these hyper local domain names, these hyper local sections on your website can definitely, definitely help you out. So I hope this information was helpful. Um, like I said, please comment, please subscribe to my channel, please engage. Thank you so much for, for everyone that's sending me tons of referrals. Got some more this morning. I super, I, mean, I really appreciate it. Um, go to my Facebook business page, facebook.com forward slash RE tech coach. Give me a phone call. Send me a text 530-760-7827. Um, or also, what what you could do is uh, give me my G uh, send me an email elderareyes at gmail dot com um, and just reach out to me leave some comments tell me you you didn't like the the sun in your eyes during this whole video uh, tell me um, you know my 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 voice wasn't as raspy as it was before tell me you missed a picture of the boat I normally have when I'm shooting my videos from another location but thank you so much for the engagement thank you so much for the support I hope you guys are safe I hope you guys are healthy hope you guys are having an amazing Friday until my until my next vid till my next video man you guys keep at it alrighty bye bye